Hi and welcome to a video tutorial. I'm going to go over the custom code configuration section for the countdown timer bar. Please note that this feature is only unlocked on the premium plan of the app. This is a section where a merchant or developer can add custom code to go along with the bar. Any code in this box would be loaded when the bar is loaded. So for a simple example, if I add some style tags and target the message component of the bar, I can set the font to courier. I'll save. And now when I load the bar, you can see that the bar's font has been changed to Courier. Now the app actually already has Courier among its built-in options, right here. But if you have a font that you use elsewhere on your site that isn't part of this list, you can add custom code to set your text to that font. Another use for this section is to actually hide the timer from the bar. Again, I'll add some style tags and then enter the code to hide the timer section. Now when I load the site, the bar shows but the timer is hidden. This can be handy if you want to use the bar scheduling feature for a simple message without the timer. If you're entering code for a style, you'll need to include style tags. And if you're adding code for a script, you'll need the script tags. You'll notice here that there are some built-in code options. You can test them all out, but I'll quickly go over them. If you click one of the options, the code for it will load into the box. All you need to do then is save. Horizontal zoom zooms in and out of an image. The image included by default is this rainbow-like image, which adds a nice pop of color and grabs the visitor's attention. You'll notice that right here is the file that is being referenced. If you want to insert your own image, you can upload a JPEG to your Files folder. Go to Settings, then Files. Here you can upload an image. When it's up, you click here to copy the link address. Then back in the app, you replace the file that is provided by default. And there you can see it zooming in. I think we can all agree that this particular image doesn't look so good, but you can see how the feature works. Vertical scroll pans up and down an image. Again, you can insert your own image. And then we have vertical scroll while website is scrolled. Now this pans up and down an image, but only while the user is scrolling up and down the page. So here you can see I'm scrolling and the image pans in the same direction. And that's the gist of how the custom code section works. If you need any assistance, contact us for support.